There isn't much more exciting than the idea of discovering treasure. Riches that were hidden from view that, if discovered, would make the finder extremely rich. And even though we may associate such treasures with fiction, as it turns out today, there are actually several unfound real treasures that anyone, including you, could find with the right amount of information and patience. These real life treasure hunts have been going on for a long time, but still remain out there to be found. The question is, will you be the one that finds them? Here are five legendary lost treasures waiting to be found. Number five is the Oak Island Money Pit. The Oak Island Money Pit, or simply the Oak Island Mystery, is a series of stories explaining the location of buried treasure as well as other legendary unexplained objects that once belonged to Captain Kidd, a Scottish sailor and pirate. These stories refer to a place where unimaginable riches are buried at the bottom of a money pit off the shores of Nova Scotia on Oak Island that have eluded treasure hunters for hundreds of years. The earliest account and most widely held discovery story of this treasure was documented all the way back in 1799 by a young man named Daniel McGinnis. McGinnis found a depression in the ground where he was looking for a location for a farm for his family. He believed that the depression was consistent with the Captain Kidd story and so began digging and upon excavating the depression, discovered a layer of flagstones two feet down. However, it would prove not to be so easy as oak platforms continuously presented themselves every 10 feet that he dug. These accounts also mentioned tool marks and pick scrapes on the walls of the pit, along with noticeably loose earth, showing that there was clearly something intentionally placed there. Eventually, McGinnis and his men abandoned the excavation at 30 feet as they began to feel a sense of dread, almost as if there was a curse on the pit. Those men did not find the riches that they were seeking, but that is far from the end of the story. As time went on, the legend grew and more and more people continued to search the island, finding more and more exciting signs that there was in fact a treasure there. These signs included the presence of coconut shells, which were not native to the region. Another was a group that was digging and discovered at a depth of 90 feet, a mysterious stone with symbols that to this day, nobody has been able to decode. Even treasure hunting companies have been digging, spending millions of dollars in an attempt to find this treasure, with records showing that even six lives in total have been lost in the pursuit of these riches. But all of this digging presented a new challenge, one that perhaps even Captain Kidd himself anticipated in order to protect his wealth, flooding. As deeper and deeper holes were dug, the pit and the area began filling with water, creating a huge challenge for treasure hunters. But with these challenges have come new hope. Traces of gold have been found and other treasures have been discovered as well, though the finders have supposedly kept them hidden as they know that they're getting ever closer. Even President FDR once pursued the treasure, working at the site in his late 20s. This pirate's treasure is on the island, waiting for anyone to find and claim it, and if you have the time and the persistence, it could be yours. Number four is the treasure of Lima. The treasure of Lima is a buried treasure that was removed from Lima, Peru in 1820 and never recovered. It's estimated to be worth over $208 million and according to the official documented inventory, consists of a solid gold gem encrusted life-sized image of the Virgin Mary. It's also said to include 113 gold religious statues, 200 chests of jewels, 273 swords with jeweled hilts, 1,000 diamonds, solid gold crowns, 150 chalices, and hundreds of gold and silver bars. In the 16th century, the Spanish accumulated a great deal of wealth after defeating the Incan Empire and chose to store it in Lima, Peru. In the early 19th century, Spain began to have difficulties with its colonies due to wars of independence in South America. This included Lima and the city had to be evacuated due to the Peruvian War of Independence. Due to the revolt, the Viceroy of Lima decided to transport the city's massive treasure to Mexico for safekeeping. British Captain William Thompson and his ship, the Mary Deer, were put in charge of taking the treasure out of the city and sailing around the area until the revolt died down. But unfortunately, that didn't work out. 
Thompson and his crew ended up killing the Spanish guards and buried the entire treasure, keeping it all for themselves. The Mary Deer was eventually captured and the entire crew were executed, all of them except for Thompson and his first mate, who agreed to show the Spanish where they buried the riches. The alleged burial spot is on the Cocos Island near present-day Costa Rica, which is where the Spanish were brought except the two captured men ran into the jungle, never to be seen again. This means that the exact location on the island was never given. Since then, hundreds have attempted to find the treasure, but with no success. The site has become legendary and even inspired the novel Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. No expeditions have occurred on the island for more than a century, mostly because the island has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its unspoiled environment and variety of wildlife. However, one adventurer, after 18 months of negotiations, secured permission to go there on an exploratory mission, a man named Sean Whitehead. However, he was never successful at finding the loot. A German man named August Gissler once came close after spending an entire 19 years living on the island hunting for treasure, but only ever found just six gold coins from it. Anyone is allowed to go there and search once the proper permissions have been granted by authorities. The question is, will it be you? Number three is the legend of El Dorado. The legend of El Dorado was originally known as El Hombre Dorado, or the Golden Man in English. It told the story of the mythical tribal chief of the Musica people, who, as an initiation rite, covered himself with gold dust and submerged himself in Lake Guadavita. He offered treasures to the Guadavita goddess in the middle of the sacred lake, all of which accumulated over years. This is the treasure of El Dorado. This took place thousands of years before the Spanish conquistadors arrived in modern day Colombia. The site of this legendary treasure is said to be located just a couple hours north of Colombia's capital city of Bogota. The value of the treasure is said to be untold and has led to a multitude of treasure hunts searching for it, leading to gold being recovered from the lake here and there by some successful hunters since 1536. The Spaniards' first attempt to drain the water was in 1536. 45 using gourds, which only lowered the water level slightly, but did result in the largest amount of gold being discovered to date. Since then, multiple draining attempts have taken place, one of which actually ended in the deaths of hundreds of workers. The most recent attempt at finding this treasure took place in 1911 over a century ago, when a company actually succeeded in draining the entire lake. However, the mud at the bottom of the lake had hardened over, trapping the treasure in an unpenetrable crust. Currently, even swimming in the lake has been banned by the Colombian government, but that hasn't stopped people from attempting to find the riches. And almost as if to tease the public, some of the treasure that's been recovered is actually on display at the Gold Museum in Bogota, which features specific pieces found from the lake along with the Musica raft. This raft was made sometime between 1500 and 1200 BC and depicts the Golden King preparing to offer tribute to the gods. It's never recommended to break the law, but many people continue to and eventually someone is going to find what they were looking for. Number two is German gold from World War II. One of the most infamous lost treasures ever recorded is the lost German treasure of gold from World War II. During the war, Germany expropriated approximately $550 million in gold from foreign governments. This included $223 million from Belgium and $193 million from the Netherlands. And these figures don't even include gold and other instruments stolen from private citizens and companies. It's believed that the total value of their treasure was worth over $1.3 billion in gold, along with diamonds and other priceless treasures. In the final month, of the war, the Germans sunk numerous containers and various other objects into Lake Toplitz in Austria for reasons that at the time were not apparent. However, since the war, some of these containers have been found and were discovered to contain millions of dollars worth of counterfeit currency of the Allied nations inside of them. It's believed that the idea was to destroy the Allied nations' economies with inflation using a plan called Operation Bernhard. 
But this fake currency was not all that they sunk into the lake. It's believed that within the depths of this lake lies part of, or even the entirety of, the infamous German treasure of gold that was intended to be hidden from the Allied forces should Germany ever lose. The lake has become a place of legend, even being mentioned in the scene in the James Bond movie Goldfinger, where Bond receives the gold bar used to tempt Goldfinger. The bar is said to be part of the treasure recovered from that lake. Unfortunately, Lake Toplitz has dangerous sunken logs that lie near the supposed location of the treasure. This makes visibility difficult and increases the threat of drowning should anyone become trapped under one of those logs. However, danger has never overrode greed, as many divers have attempted to make it down there, some successfully, and have claimed to see a sunken plane that has yet to be investigated. What makes the discovery of this gold even more difficult is that since 2009, Austrian nature experts have sought to ban diving for buried treasure. If they succeed, the legendary hoard of gold may never be found. It's unclear if people are still searching for this gold today, but the fact that there is over $1.3 billion worth of gold bullion and other treasures existing in this lake has had many wondering how to fetch it. That, and even if it's possible due to the amount of equipment that would be required to do so. And number one is the Copper Scroll Treasure. The Copper Scroll Treasure is a collection of riches that is said to be the largest treasure ever buried, worth untold amounts. In 1952, archaeologists found a copper scroll in a cave at the site of Qumran, near the Dead Sea. The scroll was part of the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls. However, what made this particular parchment stand out was that unlike the rest of the scrolls, which were made out of parchment and papyrus, this lone scroll was made out of copper. This means that whoever created it clearly wrote something of great importance on it that they intended to last the test of time. Once the unique scroll was deciphered, it was discovered that something else entirely made it special. It describes a massive treasure hidden across multiple locations throughout the Judean wilderness. In other words, it's a treasure map. Since its discovery, hundreds have begun searching for this scattered treasure, treasure that the creator of the scroll meant for someone to find. Burying such a gigantic treasure and recording the burial locations on a virtually indestructible scroll shows that the treasure is too valuable to have its location lost due to the weathering of a traditional piece of parchment. Joan E. Taylor of King's College in London analyzed the document and concluded that the treasure belonged to a temple. The treasure is vast, far beyond what we could imagine would be the property of an individual or even a group, unless they were the rulers of a nation. If we look at the Copper Scroll closely in terms of its contents, this treasure seems to come from a temple, perhaps the temple in Jerusalem, and was secreted away in 64 locations, most of which are close to Jericho. The enormous size of the treasure, as well as the presence of cultic terminology, e.g. references to tithes and priestly vestments included in the text, indicates the treasure's sacred origin. Many scholars think the scroll dates back to the first Jewish revolt against Rome in the first century CE. This would place it right before the Romans destroyed the Jerusalem temple in 70 CE. But perhaps most interestingly, despite the scroll describing the locations that the treasure is hidden and the massive size of it, not a single piece of it to this day has ever been discovered. This means that it's still out there in all of its glory, ready for the taking by one intuitive treasure hunter. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'd like to invite you to follow me over on Twitch, on twitch.tv slash Matthew Santoro. It's the very first link in the description, and I go live every single day. In fact, I've gone live every day for the last four months. It's a great way to connect with me and talk live, so be sure to visit the very first link in the description. Go give me a follow over at twitch.tv slash Matthew Santoro, and let's play some games and have some fun. I'll see you guys over there.